This is an instructional video about how to dig the piers for your pole barn building. After you've measured and set up your perimeter foundation lines and placed your pier stakes, it is now time to auger your pier holes. Place the point of the auger in the hole made previously by the stake. The first step is augering the pier holes with a standard straight auger. Clear away loose soil from the top to keep it from falling back in the hole. Use the auger width that corresponds to your building design, typically a 12 inch or an 18 inch auger. Auger the hole to the depth below the frost line of your finished soil grade height. This frost depth is typically established by local building codes. The good thing about the CPS building system is that you don't need to be accurate to the inch, so no need to backfill and measure and redig and backfill again. The height of your columns is not determined by the bottom of your auger hole, but by the steel bracket at the top of the pier. This saves time and is far more precise. No need to trim columns hanging from ladders either later in the process. The CPS system saves you time and is far more precise. Also you notice that we did not pre-grade the building site to the finished grade height. This means our off-grade piers just need to be deep enough to accommodate the belling auger. We suggest going down at least two feet below the soil surface of off-grade piers. This off-grade gap will be closed with a sauna tube later in the process. Continue to use the straight auger on all of the pier holes in your entire building. After you're done with the straight auger, we use the belling auger from our sister company, Jess Tools. The belling auger works from the down pressure of the skid steer. As more down pressure is applied, the blades open wider with greater force. You will need to watch and see when the auger soil catch fills with soil and remove and empty the auger periodically. This could take three to five rotations or more. It is critical that you not overload the soil catch or else the auger blades cannot retract and exit the hole. At first, have someone check the auger as you dig to make sure that you're not overloading the catch. Periodically check the belling width gauge to make sure that the bell has reached its desired width. If you overfill the catch, you will need to reverse the auger and shed the soil back into the hole. We are augering here with some fairly moist Missouri clay. With a bit of practice, you can empty the auger with your skid steer by tapping and rotating, and quickly return back to your belling hole to continue the process. Typically, you will need to do the auger and empty cycle three to five times to reach the full width of belling the bottom of your hole. Frost, penetrating the soil, can grab and heave up any pier over time. Belling the bottom of your hole makes it impossible for the frost up force to heave up your piers. Frost heave can grab any pier and begin to shove them up over time. The belling auger is available for purchase or for rent when you purchase a pole barn building kit from CPS. Oftentimes we'll return to the hole and run the belling auger in reverse to smooth out the edges of the belled hole. And the finished product is a perfectly belled hole and does a job that no one wants to do by hand, or is even impossible at certain hole depths. Not anymore. Our auger mechanism allows you to insert into the hole and then expands as it digs and removes soil or clay. This can save you up to an hour of labor per hole and provides a frost-proof pier that meets code downforce requirements. Our belling auger comes in 9-inch, 12-inch, 18-inch, and 24-inch sizes. The belling auger will create a belled bottom double the width of the initial hole size. You're now finished augering and belling your piers. You're now ready to go on to the next step, which is installing the splashboards.